Hey, man, I'm back. God damn it. I ain't gonna take care of my business, man. Uh, but look. Y'all yeah, be letting these women go up there on the panel and stir up more drama. That's one thing that's hard for me to respect. Many of niggas have died in the streets and everywhere else because they couldn't keep the bitch out of the problem. They couldn't keep the bitch in check. Niggas have lost empires. Trust me, nigga. Trust me. I, I, I just know it. I've experienced it, even on YouTube. I've watched how, nigga, if you don't keep the bitches in order, they'll just start doing shit. Everything gotta just, gotta work in motion. And the ones who keep everything in order, they see but you can't think because y'all y'all trying to fuck on everything y'all niggas minds is warped i don't know if y'all niggas ain't never got no coochie before but i can tell who be really excited about being around like women and talking to women and like i don't want no problem with it like, i love women but i understand that for something like Everybody's opinions don't need to be listened to. A lot of times, like for instance, when women be doing their shit, it's not smart for a man to jump in the middle and say, hey, no, nigga, sit your bitch ass down and let them women handle that shit. And that's the same way I think about Nick, like, sit down. Ain't nobody asking for your opinion, but because y'all niggas minds is bored, and that's how y'all become tricks too, but that's another story. Y'all niggas minds is warped that y'all think it's time for let the woman have, no, it's not time for her to have an opinion. It's time for her to shut the fuck up and, and, and let the men hold counsel. There is a problem on the table. How can we solve the problem? I guarantee you the solution is a lot closer than you think it is with two men rather than a couple men or two bitches over here who want to talk some shit, two bitches over there. Because all they want to do is gossip. And a lot of you niggas have adopted those traits of wanting to gossip. Niggas want to gossip all the time. Niggas want to argue all the time. You niggas want to complain all the time, bro. Shut the fuck up. Solve the problem. And before you can solve the problem, y'all niggas are, are, are in a whole nother problem. And before you can solve that problem, you niggas have a whole nother problem. Now shit's starting to unfold. A bunch of shit might be said that don't really be meant to even say. You might not even feel that way. You, you, you just done got so caught up in the rapture. I'm in the rapture. <laughs> And now you stuck. Now you gotta stand on that. Whether you make it or not. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, it, it, it be bitches that be in the mix. Shut up. It ain't time for that. Like, when women be arguing this shit, I'm going, I'm finding something, something to, to do. I don't wanna be caught up in no woman, no woman argument. I don't have no business being there. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when two niggas arguing, I'm a third party. I don't know. I, let, let them swabble it out. Let them bang it. Bang out, nigga. Bang out. <laughs> don't want to be in that shit. Not no confrontational, argumentative nigga. I don't want to be in all that shit, bro. My anxiety be up all day. I got too much to worry about to be arguing with niggas wasting my time. Cause if, I'm spend, I, if I'm trying to spend time arguing with you, that means... That's time that I lost. I lost time. Everybody losing time over nonsense, bro. But I'm just drawing parallels. I see the same women on these niggas' panels. Same thing in the hip hop game. I'm telling you, my nigga, I'm drawing parallels. I ain't making no shit up. Shit, well, you know me to make some shit up. 
I'm doing the same shit off in the rap game. You done fucked on Shotty. He done fucked on Shotty. Now Shotty with the next nigga. Shotty telling shit about the next nigga to you. And vice versa. Now y'all niggas beefing for no reason because y'all beefing over the bitch. Or what she said. And instead of you ignoring the shit, you gonna be on some old shit and try to, we don't have time for that, my nigga. Solve the problem, my nigga. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. Solve it. That should be annoying as hell, been getting up there. Oh, he ain't with the motherfucking audacity. How could he? <laughs> the audacity. How could he? He a whole ass nigga. He a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> he ain't got the right. He ain't got the right to do his own thing. What the fuck? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Okay, bitch, shut up. There are times for everything. And one of the biggest problems today in our society, our community, our generation, is that everybody feels the need to have a voice. I'm not saying you can't have your voice, but shut the fuck up. It ain't your time yet. Oh my God, it be, it be about to get into a race because she can't drive. Speaking to like, bro, get the fuck out of here, my nigga. God damn, bitch. Get to the merger lane, he gonna slow down. Bitch, you about to call him. My car foul up. But anyway, that's what it be. And then y'all hear a nigga like me talking logic, but only six, seven people watching. And now, nigga saying, oh, oh, the truth about what you talking about. Yes, I do. Why do you think it's happening the way that that, that shit be happening, man? That's why I keep to myself. I don't spend my time tackling with, with, with women all day. Unless I'm trying to get on some freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless that bitch send me a pussy, send, send, me a, send me a pussy in my phone. Now we have a conversation. Oh, what is that? <laughs> well, who do you do? It's Tuesday. I don't got titties in my phone. Titties on my Twitter. It is on my phone. Personal sin. What the fuck going on? God damn, bro. Everybody got respect. Everybody's space, my nigga. Right? Everybody got to respect. Everybody's space. All this tit for tat is, is childish. It's... It's, it's female shit, bro. That's really what it is. I don't know. Look, I think that might be the end of my sermon. I might be out of sermon right now. That's it. The niggas tighten up. Y'all looking feminine as fuck out here. Tighten that shit up, nigga. Stop all it all the goddamn time, man. If I solve problems, nigga, just move. Everybody just move. Just move accordingly, my nigga. Like, everybody cool and nobody like Realize, like, bro, y'all niggas be talking about shit. Don't even, don't, don't even matter, my nigga. I just drove past about an hour ago up under a bridge. Just six niggas up under a bridge, my nigga. Getting up, getting their day started. About to go panhandle something, try to go find and make a way. And you and you niggas is misusing your blessings, arguing and shit. Thousand people in your chat. 400 people, be all, all, these good, all these good numbers. How many of them are? I don't know. But for optics wise, to be aesthetic, stop misusing your influence. You know what I'm saying? Balance, my nigga. That's what it's all about. It's balance, my nigga. And any and everybody who's not trying to keep the balance has to go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Y'all be having slots for these people, my nigga. For these hoes, your damn powder shit. Why? Why is she even over here? 
talking about everything she don't know. We don't need your input. We trying to solve the problem. Y'all need to let mole hills become mountains. And then wonder why you got all the problems. But some of you niggas like that. Like the women do. And because you do it, and because you do what you do, the women who they automatically, I think it's a some type of uh I don't know, but they like the gossip and shit. And if you turn into a gossip nigga, they gonna flock to you you gossiping, nigga. And that's the truth. But it don't matter how you niggas want to cut it, you got a problem, say something to me. I'll, I'll pull up, I'll give you 15 minutes if you're gonna have a real conversation. Yeah, all that crazy talking that we're not. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is, is that that's the problem. It's not enough solutions. And niggas were trying to find solutions. It's always, it's always more problems than solutions. And it's not balanced. Problems don't, like problems don't happen, but solutions have to happen too. And if you have the power to have a solution or to come up with a person that you have the problem with, come up, y'all come up like with a solution or something, then it's over with. No more commentary. No more of that shit. But the fact that a lot of you niggas' pages are fueled by drama and, and it, it ain't really beef. It's just little petty arguments. It ain't no beef, nigga. You niggas ain't. Yeah, it ain't no beef. It's, it's, it's petty problems. Niggas beefing over petty problems. A lot of niggas die in the streets over petty problems. I got partners who died over petty problems. I got niggas locked up over petty problems. A bitch. A disagreement. Something that could have been solved with. Damn, my nigga. Oh, hey, man, let me holler at you real quick. Or something like that. Now niggas is dead and locked up over petty problems. And you niggas is following the same cycle. You're just doing it online for everybody to see. Ain't it strange, my nigga? I don't understand how you niggas be moving, how you be moving, and I can understand how you niggas be getting caught with what y'all be doing. Cause you're not moving smart. You're not moving smart, you're not taking everything into account. You just talking and moving and freestyling. Fuck a freestyle, nigga. Make a plan, nigga. God damn, bro. It be fuck. God damn. <laughs> Ah, shit. The niggas is messaging me about, about some YouTube shit. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I, look, man, I don't give a, don't ask me no question unless you're trying to send me some coochie or some money. Preferably money. If you're trying to send me some money, we'll have a conversation. If you're not trying to send me no money, then, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't want to talk, man. I value my time just as, as everybody should. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should. But I value my time. I put my time in the right spots. I'm not talking about nothing that don't like, bro. Like even, like even, like, like even with the strange dude and shit, right? I love strange dude. I love eyeball shit. That's as close as I get to shit that don't mean nothing. As, as I'm a get. It's strange news. Somebody got arrested for trying to withdraw a penny out the bank. I'm talking about that. It's strange. I like strange news. I like odd news. News that defies the norm. But but that's the closest that's the closest that I'ma get talking about some shit that's eh, you know what I'm saying? Because bro. That shit don't mean nothing, well, I mean, you know. Anyway, I'm done here. I'm about to get back to eat my neck ring. You understand me? And, uh, oh shit, I'm gonna y'all nigga later, man. Y'all watch this shit and share it out. Let's have a conversation about commentary. Because I'm willing to have a conversation. That's for a bit.
I don't, I, don't, I don't care about you niggas' feelings about how I feel about the shit. Nigga, fuck you. Y'all niggas don't, hey, y'all niggas had, hey, about two, three years ago, everybody was fucked chill, man. And it's fuck y'all. Some of y'all niggas done came around and said, damn, I mean, you hooked me up. Some of y'all niggas still hold some resentment off of your heart from what other, another nigga done said about me that wasn't even, that ain't even true. And that makes you a bitch ass nigga in my book, so fuck y'all niggas. All I'm saying is this. Let's have a conversation about commentary and how important it is. Point blank. Cause it's one to be had. A lot of y'all niggas think that, like, like, it's, huh. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here, boys and girls. I'm done ranting for the morning. It's time for me to listen to Joe Button Podcast and come back, Jack, and have more creative ideas. It's going to be good today. It's sunny outside. I'm trying to get some coochie lined up for tonight or tomorrow night. On Friday night, but college football come out, so I'm in a dilemma. So I'm trying to figure out, she's going to have to bring the coochie over here in the next couple days. Oh, bitch, it's going to be over for you because college football 25 going to be out. You hear me? You're going to have to bounce the coochie to the next nigga because I'm going to be too busy trying to bring a dynasty. And turn into a dynasty. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. I'm done for the day. Y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be watching. And on that note, we go.